Hi everybody, hope you're doing okay today. Uh, today I'm just going to be having a look at uh, Rocketeer movie souvenir magazine and also comic scene that uh, has a feature on the Rocketeer film. Uh, so first of all we'll have a look at the movie magazine. Uh, both of these came out in 1991 so it really makes me feel old seeing as these are 20 years old and uh, I won't give away my age there but it makes me feel old here we have uh, advertisements for the Rocketeer trading cards of the films which I have and also this looks like um, a shampoo container Not too sure actually what it is. Uh, cat oh, candy gum containers, but it looks like there's three different types there. There's um, a full one, a torso above, and a helmet, but they do look like shampoo containers. And then just uh, flip through it, got a whole load of stuff, images from the film. I think it really is underrated and here we've got images of the um, late Dave Stevens and uh, Bill Campbell there who plays Cliff's Accord Jenny the beautiful Jennifer Campbell Connolly I nearly said Campbell there who um, stood in for Betty Page, I think they couldn't get her because of rights, well, couldn't get her name. And uh, Alan Arkin there. I think uh, Bill Campbell played a brilliant Cliffs Accord myself. Uh, Neville Sinclair. Timothy Dalton, he was an excellent villain, I thought. And uh, Eddie, he's totally, um, his name's totally forgotten now. Paul something. Beautiful image there. I can understand why they altered the backpack because um, the one in the films was just um, too, I was going to say sci-fi but that's the wrong word, but um, just having um, one jetpack or backpack just wouldn't work, uh, too fantastic. Uh, I, I'm, I can't think of the right word but it just didn't work so I can understand why they used two instead of just the one nice shot there of Timothy Dalton the low four who of course um, he was featured quite heavily in the um, comic sequel transformation here of uh, the actor to Lothar and beautiful Jennifer Connolly absolutely stunning Got some artwork there and uh, a lovely image there of uh, the Rocketeer with 
the Mauser. I love that image there. Sorry about the angle here. And uh, that dress that Jennifer Connelly wears is just absolutely stunning. I wish someone would do um, a statue, electric tiki or sideshow, would do a statue of that. Another shot of her there, just Paul Bettany's just such a lucky bastard having her as a wife. Nice shot there of Bill Campbell, Billy Campbell. lot of uh, behind the scenes here the screen boards and uh, I've forgotten his name but uh, there's the um, actor who um, played uh, the guy in Lost. I've, I really should have researched this before doing this, sorry, but uh, the one in the wheelchair is uh, funny. He played Howard Hughes. Funny how people pop up later in life. Some stunning models here, really detailed, beautiful work. And here are the jetpacks. This is what I mean. Uh, that just not would not have worked. Uh, of course, jetpacks aren't realistic, but that would not have been realistic. That would not have supported uh, a human being's body. And some beautiful costumes there. It would have been nice though for Sideshow to have included both types of jetpacks. One as an exclusive. Always wished I had done that. And Joe Johnson, the um, director, of course, he did a lot of um, design work for the Star, Star Wars films. I'll get the name here. Terry O'Quinn, that's who played Howard Hughes and uh, Paul Savino of course Mira Savino's uh, father I knew it was Mira Savino's father stupid of me okay I'll get on to the other magazine now be back in a jiffy just before we um, move on to the next magazine just uh, looking at the back of the uh, movie magazine we've got um something that i have here but i don't think it will ever work again it's the rocketeer 3d magazine but this also comes with 3d audio but i don't think you'll ever find um anything to play the um uh, cassette tape nowadays it's all um mp3s or cds well there's hardly any cds now but it's all mp3s now but something to play the cassette tape now you'll have um, trouble finding that nowadays but yeah a Disney um, 3D comic book move on to this now just have a look at some of the stuff that was around at those days the Marvel Universe cards I think I got the majority of those and uh, all the hologram cards and there's Commando Cody the original Commando Cody that um, George Lucas took the inspiration for for um, the Revenge of the Sith's Commander Cody. 
all the Star Trek magazines. I loved Star Trek Next Gen. Uh, Nomad, Alpha Flight, New Warriors, and here's um, Rob Liefeld's Infamous Art for Cable. All the um, movie magazines, a lot of Arnie and Slice the Lone Ones there. Here it is, King of the Rocket Men, which was basically the inspiration for the Rocketeer, Commando Cody. Which, of course, uh, was the inspiration for Commander Cody. I just, um, I loved this myself. I loved the bucket head. And he had the um, dolls on his chest. You should um, try and look it up on the internet. got the rocket here I believe uh, Neil Adams did the artwork for the uh, movie adaptation for this uh, nothing of interest there really Impact Universe anyone remember that and Wonder Man. And that's um, about it for this magazine. So I uh, enjoyed that. I've also got, um, I think it's Cineflex, where, where it's got all the um, making all of the um, film, all the... Uh, 